Today we have the results. I understand it was because of your concerns about the high level of contaminants in the orcas that led to your being curious about what these results in humans might be, especially since we consume the same fish. And also we're at the top of the food chain, just the same way the orcas are at the top of the food chain in the marine environment. You each have released permission that I could see the results first so that I could go ahead and make these charts. Each graph is going to have the amount, and then each of our names are along here. Jean-Michel, Carrie, Holly, and Holly's son, Gavin, and myself, we all agreed to be tested. So our PBDEs, polybrominated diethyl ethers, the so-called flame retardants, okay? Now these are also manufactured chemicals that were added to products to make them flame resistant electronic equipment, uh, you'll find it in home furnishings, couches. They've shown that there are high levels in dust and products have to pass a flammability standard. But obviously we're now realizing that perhaps there's a downside. What we do know is, is that children have a lot higher level of these flame retardants than moms. Uh, this is one study, fire retardants and toddlers and their mothers. And that's because where do kids spend their time? They spend on it on the, the floor. And in the orcas, they are seeing that this level is going up, uh, not down. How does it get into the orcas? It gets into the orcas from the environment and just passes Wash up Wash down the streams and into the, the food, food chain. chain. Yep. Let's go on to uh, the results. There I am, Jean-Michel. Carrie, we'll do you next. Okay, you look pretty good on that one. Holly. Oh. According to this, um, you're definitely higher than the 95th percentile. Um, and we might as well just forge ahead and see Gavin as well while we're here. So according to Dr. Petraeus up at Berkeley, she really thinks this relates to something in the home environment. Um, she sees these kind of levels and... Now remember, Holly, these are just numbers. I know. He's testing the way we expected him to. Mm -hmm. We know that children are high. <laughs> That's shocking. That is really shocking. And for me, as a mother with a four-year-old that has high levels of these flame retardants, I want answers. We deserve answers. We are using our children as an experiment, and it's not fair. And I don't want to see those adverse health effects for my own son. And no one else should see that too.